Department, staff movements, correspondence, and all the other details we need in our day-to-day -day work right around the state is a big job. It is a task that would be almost impossible to do by simply putting a personal computer in every office. However, the department has retained the ease of access of a PC whilst maintaining the power of a mainframe computer with its wide area networking, a sophisticated and powerful communications medium offering the best of both computing worlds. In this program, we'll give you an overview of the total computer network system so that you may better understand the logic behind its operation. Although the system is very complex, it has been designed to appear transparent. That is to say, you, the user, can have access to the power of the full system by simply using your workstation without worrying about the complexities of how it works. Part of the system you'll be most familiar with is the workstation. The workstation is much like a filing cabinet. You can write things and store them in files in the cabinet, and you can go looking for things and pull them out of the cabinet. The workstation is a computer in its own right. It consists of the following components, a monitor, a keyboard and mouse, central processing unit or CPU, and a power brick. Keyboard, mouse and monitor are your interface to the computer processor. It's how you make contact with the computer. The brains of the workstation is the CPU. This is where the computer processes and receives information from other centers. All of these components appear to be totally self-contained, much like a personal computer. That is, you can call up and enter data without having to know anything else about the department's overall system. To operate your workstation, all users have a user name, which is usually their own name, and a password. The password enables you to log in to the computer and have access to many areas of information within programs that are considered classified or sensitive information. If you don't know your username or your password, contact the help desk in head office. Needless to say, your password should remain confidential. On the workstation, you can do things like write letters, send memos by electronic mail, and store and retrieve information about offenders within your area or in other sites around the state. Although your workstation may seem like a self-contained system, it is really a small cog in a much wider network. A workstation is the basic level at which all information is entered and received. Your workstation and all of the others in your office are connected together in what is called a cluster. There are clusters of workstations around the state in metro sites, regional centres and head office. All the information from your workstation and the other workstations in the cluster is sent to the file server. This is the main computer in the cluster and where all of your data is stored. The file server is connected to a special communications device called a modem. This is really just a telephone for computers and it's via this connection that your file server can communicate with others around WA. Around the state, all of the file servers in each local cluster are interconnected by telephone and data lines, a communications network. This network means that any local site can access information from any other site around the state. The process happens instantly, and more importantly, transparently, without you ever knowing that the remote connection has been made. This creates a very powerful information processing system that does not rely on one central computer for its power. It means that each local cluster of workstations need not hold information for the whole state, but just for its own local area. The department's computer system serves the entire state, from Albany to Wyndham. And like other local clusters, head office has its own file server. Two, in fact. However, the file server in head office performs another task as well. It listens in to what is happening over the state network and stores a copy of every site's offender's data in its memory bank as a change occurs. This maintains an archive and overall picture of the entire state system and it also acts as a backup if offenders' information is lost at any one particular site. Their other file server is dedicated to CBC data. Unlike prisons clusters, each CBC file server does not store its own client information, but instead sends it all to the other head office file server. So when a request or change of information is made for CBC material, 
the data is currently processed and sent from head office. Soon, however, this system will be modified to allow CBC file servers to store their own data like the prison file servers do, freeing the head office file server for other duties. Because the network is complex, it needs support. Information systems section in head office coordinates the computer system around the state. It is a service group, a team whose purpose is to ensure the system works. Their function is to facilitate the training, development and support of computer operations for you, the end user. Information Systems develops and writes the software, the programs that make the computer run, and is continually developing and refining programs so that they work even more efficiently. If you need training, Information Systems conducts a training school and study courses around Western Australia to aid users in the use of their workstations. The courses are modular and tailor-made to suit your specific application. They also run on-site classes for users in remote areas of the state and hold a library of videotape programs on a variety of computer subjects to assist the user on an ongoing basis. If you have some concerns about your workstation operation or a specific problem needing immediate assistance, they offer the help desk. This is a telephone service operated by information systems staff to assist users with any urgent problems. It is operated five days per week during extended office hours and its staff is trained to give you first-hand help and find a solution for you over the phone. If you encounter difficulties after having studied your program manual, simply ring the help desk and information systems staff will be happy to assist. Information Systems Wide Area Network is the powerful sum of its local workstation parts. Its communication processes are immediate and transparent to the user, offering the power of a central mainframe system at a local level, which could not normally be achieved. It allows your workstation to reach out across the state and makes you more efficient.